Hey guys, welcome to 5th grade 5.2. We're going to go ahead and get started. For our purposes, we're not going to be using models, okay? We will be doing the math because that's the part that you guys are going to need, okay? So, 3.69 divided by 3. I'm going to go ahead and do that over here. Okay, now, there's no decimal outside, so all I have to do is go to the decimal that's inside and push it up to the top into my answer, okay? So, 3 is going to go into 3 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract is 0. 0 is definitely smaller than 3, so I can bring down my 6. 3 goes into 6 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract is 0. Again, 0 is definitely smaller than 3, so I can bring down my 9. Nine go, uh, 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract is 0. So my answer over here is going to be 1.23. Okay? All right. I'm going to go right here and just do 4.9 divided by 7. Okay? Decimal, straight up into my answer, okay? Now, seven is not gonna go into four, placeholder. Seven will go into 49, seven times, seven times seven is 49, subtract, get zero, okay? All right, so number three, point seven, okay? You can put 0 0.7, totally fine, doesn't matter, okay? I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to do number four. So 3.6 divided by 9. Okay? 9's not going to go into 3. Oh, I didn't move my decimal up. 9's not going to go into 3. Placeholder. Okay? 9 will go into 6. 4 times 4 times 9. 36. 0 left over. So number four, point four. Okay? You guys do 5 through 8. You totally can. I believe in you. Okay, we're going to go down to number nine and we're going to do the word problem. Okay, it says in PE class, Carl runs a distance of 1.17 miles in nine minutes. At that rate, how far does he run in one minute? So 1.17 divided by nine. Okay, move my decimal up. Nine is not going to go into one placeholder. 9 goes into 11 one time. 1 times 9 is 9. Subtract, get 2. Okay? 2 is smaller than 9, so I'm going to bring down my 7. Okay? 9 goes into 27 three times, which is 27. Subtract, get 0. So my answer is 0.13 miles. Now, I am going to, just in case you don't remember, Bring over, bring over our steps for division. We remember it is dirty monkey smell completely bad or does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Okay, so we're dividing, multiplying, subtracting, checking, and bringing down. Okay, you guys have done this before, so you can write this at the top of your paper if it helps, and do whatever you need to do to remember these steps. Okay, all right. So we will go on now to number 10, okay? Mary Ann spends $9.45 on five greeting cards. Each card costs the same amount. What's the cost of one greeting card? Well, I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna go 9.45 divided by five. I'm gonna move my decimal straight up, okay? Five will go into nine one time. One times five is five. Subtract, get four. Okay, four is smaller than five, so I can bring down my other four. Okay, five will go into 44 eight times, which is 40. Gives me four left. Okay. Can bring down my other five, and five will go into 45 nine times. Nine times five is 45. The trap get zero. Okay, so my answer will be dollar sign one dollar and eighty nine cents. Okay, make sure that you use your labels. Okay, so on nine it should be miles or mi, and here it's your dollar sign. Your dollar sign is your label. 
Okay. Okay. So we're going to go on to the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check. Okay. We'll go down to spiral reveal. Okay. So let me get rid of that one. Okay. Spiral reveal. At the deli, one pound of turkey costs seven dollars and ninety-eight cents. Mr. Epstein buys three pounds of turkey. How much money will he cost? So seven dollars and eighty-nine cents, and he bought three of those. Okay, so we're gonna multiply. Okay, whatever it is, it's going to wind up being in money. Okay, they're talking about it spending money. Okay. Okay, so three times nine. 27, carry my 2. 3 times 8, 24, plus 2, 26, carry the 2. 3 times 7, 21, plus 2, 23. Go in 1, 2 times for my decimal, $23.67. Okay? All right. Mrs. Cho drives 45 miles in one hour. If her speed stays consistent, how many hours will it take for her to drive 405 miles? Okay, so 405, and we're going to divide that by the 45 miles she went in one hour. Okay, now again, I don't know my multiples of 45, but if I rounded that to 50, then I would be able to do a little bit faster mental math, okay? So I know that in each of my hundreds, I have 250, okay? So I would go four times that two is eight, okay? But because I have five less on each one, I'm gonna go with nine, okay? Because 45 is not gonna go into four or 40. So I'm going to go 9. 9 times 5 is 45. Carry my 4. 9 times 4 is 36 plus 4, 40. There we go. Okay. So 9 hours. Okay. Make sure you're showing your work. Okay. Make sure you're showing your work. It's important, guys. Okay. Write the following numbers in order from least to greatest. Okay, well, that one starts with a 1, that one starts with a 1, that one starts with a 2, and that one starts with a 3. Well, least to greatest, so smallest to biggest. I'm just going to write them backwards for now because I have two that start with 1, but these two are pretty clear. So 3.2 is going to be last because that starts with a 3. 2.31 is going to be next because it starts with a 2. And then I just have the two left. So 1.23 and 1.2. Well, 1.2, I could rewrite that as 1.20, and 0 is smaller than 3. So that would be our order. Okay? Okay. Over the weekend, Aiden spends 15 minutes on his math homework. He spends three times as much on his science homework. How much time did Aiden spend on his science homework? Well, 15 minutes. Three times. It's literally telling you to do 15 times three. Okay? Three times five, 15. Carry the one. Three times one is three plus one is four, 45 minutes. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for five point two. Come back for 5.3 soon.